I'm feeling amazing. I woke up, turned to his side, and there was a gold medal. I thought, oh, yes, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a dream. Yeah. I mean, the first ever to win a Taekwondo gold for Britain. That's a fantastic achievement. Yeah, it's, it's amazing, um, not only to get the gold medal, but to make history as well. Uh, it's just been an incredible day. Did you surprise yourself in winning the gold? Um, I was always going there for the gold, and I was confident that I could get gold there. But I knew how hard it was going to be. My weight category is so hard, like, any of them girls could have won and so I just took each fight like round by round and like to be standing on the top of the podiums. And you did seem to improve as the tournament went on I mean I think even after the uh, the semi-finals you were saying you, you still weren't quite as sharp as you wanted to be. Yeah um, I, I didn't feel as sharp as I normally am um, I think that was due to like because the crowd and it was a bit tense but um, my tactics were just spot on then um, for the girls and I've been watching their fights and studying them and so like my, Paul, my coach Paul Green is just I thank him really because the tactics are just perfect. I mean it is originally an Asian sport isn't it and you managed to beat two Asians in the semi-final and the final including the number one I mean that's yeah. an amazing achievement. Yeah and especially the girl in the final she beat me in the world championships last year and it went to golden point so and that hurt me for ages, so I remember walking out and thinking, I'm not letting her beat me again, especially like in front of the home crowd. You say it hurt you. I mean, mm. I imagine physically, I mean, do you get bashed and bruised mm. after so many rounds like that? Yeah, definitely. You're constantly clashing legs, and sometimes you get kicked in the face, and you do, like, but when you wake up with this around your neck, it's all worthwhile. Yeah. And you're only 19. I mean, you could go on doing this for some time. I mean, are, are you looking ahead as far as Rio yet? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've got like a couple more Olympics in me yet. And I'm going to have a bit of time off and just like refresh myself and then come back. And I've got the World Championships next year, so that's my next goal. Of course, the only downside is you were preparing for your final when uh, Usain Bolt was uh, winning the 200, so you haven't had a chance to watch it no, yet. No, I'll have to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> and finally, what's the reaction been like uh, back home in Wales? Um, I haven't got to like see it all yet, but the support was amazing, and they had pictures of me in all the windows. Everyone was getting together, they had their nails painted, they had T-shirts. Just the support has actually been incredible. So I just can't wait to get home and just like so thankful I've done it. I can go back like with this and it'd be 